if you're able to share, Javi, have you personally ever experienced um, what you shared about because of having an accent, because of being uh, Latino? Or is it that you've seen more of that with colleagues and friends or family members? Yeah, I've, I've seen it many times, many, many, many times. As soon as I as I speak, um, they they you know the, people act differently, you know, and um, and not only with me, like even with other people that are Latinos and that they look they look different, like they they have you know darker skin or whatever. People really act different, like people do, and that needs to end, like right now. And that's so integrated into society that most people don't even realize, but, but it is there, you know, as soon as you see a person that has an accent that, you know, maybe has darker skin, like a lot of people treat them differently and that's just not fair. Like that needs to stop. And I see a lot of people that, that they're like, yeah, no, you're like, you're right or whatever, but, but they don't take action. And Everybody is just as guilty for not taking action as the person, in my opinion, my opinion, this is only my opinion, as the people that are um, uh, just, just, just uh, keeping quiet or, or saying something, you know, something, uh, something bad towards it. I don't know. I, um, yeah, I've, I, I've heard it so many times that I need to get rid of my accent and, and all of that um, is just very frustrating, especially, you know, when many people in this country have an accent and they they work so hard, so hard for their families. And um, it's just sad. It makes me really sad. Do you believe, Javi, that you've lost opportunities um, and connections because of being Latino, because of having an accent, because of not being the type of person somebody wants you to be and wants you to sound like? Oh, 100%. I, 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 I've missed so many opportunities for having an accent. I actually, I mean, I've been working with my um, accent coach every, every time I, I get an audition um, for so long. And it, I, I, I don't know. I hear it all the time. If you like, it would be great if you don't have an accent and I, Every single time I think, but but this is who I am, you know, this is who I am. And this is how I express myself. And, you know, my friends love me for this, you know, not for something else. And um, I've heard it many times and I've lost a lot of opportunities for that. Also, um, many agents that I've worked in the past, they, they've told me like, oh, you look you look way too, you know, you look way too pretty, you know, like it would be great if you don't, if you look like rougher. I'm like, but this is again who I am, you know, like why, why don't you try to accept who I am and try to get a job from that, you know, instead of making me different. So I look like everybody else and then maybe I'll get a job. You know, I just, I just don't understand that perspective and I don't share it and I don't agree with it, but I've definitely lost a lot of opportunities for that. Do you believe all honesty that you will ever meet to the goals and expectations of what people want for you by sounding the way that I sound? I don't, I don't, I have a, um, I would say I sound East coast, but there's a difference to where, you know, someone sounding, you know, you're from another country is your goal to get rid of sounding Latino or do you just not care and you're just going to continue to do the best that you can do? You're going to work with the people that best respect and understand you and on projects that meet to the goals and expectations and not spend the rest of your life worrying about, uh, you know, a voice coach to get you sounding the way other people want you to sound. Yeah, I think I think there's and I hope I really hope there's there's going to be a moment in the industry that that they're going to realize that that there's so many different cultures, you know, and that you know like like um you know Latinos don't need to play the bad role. You know, they can play the the lead role that is uh, you know, 
I think there's so many walls that we need to break. And I am hoping and I am, uh, I have faith that it will happen, that the producers and the people in control are going to wake up and say, here, this is not the reality. You know, like we don't need to cast, you know, a uh, different race and different uh, types of characters, you know, everybody can be everything because that is the reality. You know, there's good people and bad people in every single culture, every single country, etc. And that's a wall that the people in the, in the industry need to break. And I think, I really hope, and I think it will happen. I don't know when, I think some steps are being um, taken. Uh, I do think that it should be faster too. Um, but but I really, really hope there's going to be a moment where we're going to see, you know, beautiful TV shows with, you know, many different cultures and respecting, really, really respecting the cultures and how they are. 